The reason why I'm here today and why I'm so excited about what is happening in the NF ecosystem is the investments that the Children's Tumor Foundation has done over the last years is really starting to pay off. We have two main systems. So the one system is more for the academic scientists now, where we have created a collaborative system, which is called Synodos, where we really ask people, the worldwide experts, to come together and solve a mission. The mission is defined by the patient. So the patient says, I want a solution for pain. I want a solution for NF2. I want a solution for NF1. So the patients identify what the mission is. The, the team, the global expert team, out to assemble, so they come together as a team. We review the applications, and then by contract, the researchers that participate in this mission, they're really by contract bound to share their data out of the lab with a data hub, which is the NF data portal that we fund as a foundation together with some other NF funders. And after the time that they need to make sure that in the data portal is quality data and the data is really turned not only just shared but also transformed into knowledge as we always say because the, the Sage Bio Networks who are our partners in this they really transform information into knowledge and then that knowledge becomes available to the entire world. So it's, and then we do the drug, we do the, in fact the project management of that. The reason why I'm explaining that is because that platform in that operational model is really delivering a lot of results these days. So we have developed new animal models. We have an NF2 drug now that has that is ready to go into the clinic, the clinical candidate that came out of a synodos for NF2 with a massive amount of data. We have new mechanisms for NF1 low-grade glioma and those low-grade gliomas, in fact, we has just been published in Nature in December where it's really shown that maybe immunotherapy may work for low-grade glioma in children. So there's a lot happening. It's, an, it's a very exciting time to be in NF and I think we really play that crucial role as a connector in the, um, in the ecosystem. The other thing we've really developed is an NF platform, an R&D platform, and that is really to attract pharmaceutical companies to NF in general. And we really have seen a lot of traction of companies that are interested in joining the, um, the NF um, ecosystem now. So we are, we're seeing a lot, there's a lot of energy. The registration trial of selumetinib is going really well. There is a number of other MEK inhibitors that are doing pretty excellent so I mean there is a lot there is a lot of energy and yeah. it's it's a fun time to be at this point where we see that maybe we will be able to offer some options to our patients beyond the treatments that we have today the, the platform that we have set up is is really a multidisciplinary platform so we have an NF patient registry where we really the patients now start understa are really understanding why this registry is so important. So we have now about 9,000 patients in the registry from 89 different countries. The next step is that we will translate the registry in multiple languages to even grow further. We have a clinic network with 54 clinics that are a member of that clinic network and that see together about 14,000 patients. We have a preclinical um, platform. We have a biobank. I mean, we have set up a whole platform, in fact, to attract pharmaceutical companies to um, to NF and the result is there. Companies are calling us, are entering partnerships with us, so there is a lot there is a lot of energy now around NF and of course also with the hope that there might be a first drug approved very soon for NF that of course also creates an, a snowball effect in the pharma uh, ecosystem.